Finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on foam. So let's drive the new car home. Land Rover Discovery Sport HSC Black. It's the 28th of February 2018 and the beast from the east has arrived into the UK. So let's take the Land Rover Discovery Sport out and see how it performs in snow. I would have preferred it if it was deeper, but I'm sure I can find some side roads. Uh, so we need to clear all the how many inches is that? That's about what, one, two, three, four, five centimeters of snow. Okay, I'm gonna need a broom or something to get this snow off the screen. Yeah, this will do it slowly. Oh, oh no. Damage the fragile. Yeah, that should do. Hmm. So now let's go for a spin in the beast from the east. See if we can find some really bad roads side roads and country roads should do it hills I seek out some bad roads so about five centimeters deep so not that deep really 10 would have been better anyway let's go see what five centimeters is like for this Land Rover Discovery Sport HSE Black. Let's warm up the windscreen before I use the wipers. Always warm up for about a minute. And let's change the, the drivetrain. No, let's have a look. Grass, gravel, snow program selected. What other programs we got? Mud, no. Sand, no. So, grass, gravel, snow. So there, I've set it to low traction loan, launch, and that's what it looks like. Oh, it's locking. It's locking. Yeah, you can see the padlock going. Driving slowly, padlocks, so you're going between locked and unlocked. Okay, so let's put this camera down and actually drive. Okay, which way shall I go? Left or right? I think right would be better. down a hill now lots of 
put the lights on. Yeah, there's a bit of skidding. Anti-lock brakes. Definitely you don't want to put your foot down. Let's be going downhill. Let's get there. Let's get past these cars and all. See what it's like braking at a higher speed. Wanna hit a tree. Accelerator on. Yeah, there is some traction issues. In the slush. So let's give us give ourselves a bit of a, a difficult ride. Let's go up this hill. That car. Let's see if we can catch that car up. He's going pretty fast. Let's see if we can catch him up. So now it's just flashed low traction launches off. Put my foot down a little bit now. I'm going at 25 miles per hour. Got good traction and steering. So we can go to 30. Okay, we're coming to a bend, I'll slow down. Just pop it up, come on. So we can get to 30. Oh, there is some wobble in the wheels but it's driving well here comes the car right, let's go this is the main road I want to go with it's pretty bad right, here we go Countryside. The radio keeps coming on. Where are you going, you idiot? What do you want me to do? where there is definitely the domain of the 4x4 Land Rovers and the rest nice with wintry scene Let's see what it's like on really bad roads though so far no skidding just a bit of wobble in the wheels Definitely take me to 
bad in here. It's good to clear it up so far. I put the foot down. Now going into the country, it's a 50 road, I'm driving around 28, 27, so far the drive has been smooth, speed up a bit, 32, drivers skills as well as you can see we're in the countryside now so far the drive the ride has been smooth let's see what happens if I put the brakes on yeah Didn't slam them on but no skid put the brakes on hard So basically, it's a smooth drive ride on this snowy road. We're going at 34 miles per hour on a multi road. It takes on four roads. Yeah, it takes on four roads. Let's pull over. Definitely wobble on here. Okay. Let's take some photos. This is where we are. Maybe we've driven two on the outskirts of Sheffield. You can see the city from there. in cloud zoom in a bit outskirts of the city it's getting cloudy now definitely the snow is deeper out here So far the Land Rover Discovery Sport is finding it easy going. No problem. So let's go further up. Some geese flying up there. So let's see what low traction the program is for setting off from here. This one's Two wheels are in snow, two wheels are on the road, so it shouldn't have any problems. We'll see what it's like. I'll set it to low traction. We'll get a move on. Okay, we'll just let this car go and we'll start low traction program again. Low traction launch. There's lots of cars. Let's get going. See how it performs. No traction. Yeah, 
Yeah, no problem. So there was no problem from low traction launch. Started without any problems. Now driving around 32, 33, 35. Now getting towards the outskirts of Sheffield. Braking, there's no slippage. The padlock is off on the traction logger. The Land Rover is coping very well with bad weather. but the car is driving well so the Land Rover Discovery Sport passes the the snow test it's not had any slippage let's put the brakes on oh brakes are good as well so braking a lot heavier than I would normally bad weather going downhill as well but the Land Rover is coping well now it's going at 28 I'm going to put the brake on hard anti-lock brakes work great no issue braking so far I've not experienced I've only experienced some slight wobbling but no slippage Steering is smooth. Okay, now I'm getting really, really far. Ooh, I've got some slippage there. Okay, let's let Derbyshire. There's a sign for I don't think I should go further. Let's just park it here. asking for trouble sit on the grass gravel program still let's park it there and have a look outside So here we are on the outskirts of Sheffield, literally on the border with Derbyshire. 
Land Rover and Discovery Sport is performed excellent. The Gravel Sport uh, assisted traction helps with setting off. Land Rover Discovery Sport. So look at this, what's this? Look at all that stuff. So you definitely need mud guards. expected for an all-wheel drive so I had no pro if problems driving in this weather I don't think I should chance going further though because I could go for miles and miles it's cold Ooh, freezing cold bitter wind the wind is colder than the temperature the chill factor I think it drops to minus 10 well, the ground might be minus two because of the wind. Especially here where it's exposed, it's at least minus ten. So now let's set off back in the city before it gets dark. Yeah, it's to, to about half five. Let's set off back. Outskirts of Sheffield. It's bitter cold. Temperature might only be minus two, but the wind makes it at least minus ten. Can't stand in this out here for long. It's at least minus ten. Might be minus twelve. The way it feels. So there is definitely a wind chill factor. Ooh, cold. Let's get back. Okay, let's set off back. What the hell? Second day I was worried. I'm cold. Yeah, that's better. I was getting accelerated out <laughs> putting it into drive. See this is what happens when you're cold, freezing, it's definitely cold out there. Let's head off back. It's a 50 road but <laughs> you're not gonna drive 50 in this. 30, about 30 to 33. Snow's drifting. Going around 32 at the moment. The wind's blowing the snow. The wind's blowing the snow off the bonnet onto the screen, so hold them. Increase the drive a little slower on the way back. Sheffield!
minus seven apparently according to the car. Feels like minus ten. That'll be the wind chill. It's gonna be a bit of cold night tonight. Sport has performed excellently. No problem. So we're back, and the Land Rover Discovery Sport performed great on the road, as you saw. No issues with five centimeters of snow, none whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> 